This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, in a neighborhood, 15 of the 80 households have more than two children. What percentage of the households have more than two children? So we're going to express this as a fraction to get started. That is to say, we're going to say 15 of the 80 households have more than two children. Then we're going to reduce this fraction. Uh, 15 and 80 have a common factor of 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 80 divided by 5 is something you should be able to do mentally. Um, 40 divided by 5 would be 8. Uh, 80 is double 40, so this is going to be 16. All right, so we can't reduce this fraction any further, so we're actually going to convert this to a percent via long division. That is to say we're going to do 3 divided by 16. Now, 16 does not go into 3, so we're going to add a decimal and a zero placeholder, and we're going to bring that decimal into our answer. How many times does 16 go into 30 without going over? That's going to be one time. 16 times 1 is 16. What is 30 minus 16? If you can't do that mentally, work it out. Uh, 0 minus 6, we can't do. This becomes 2. This becomes 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. Uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. And of course, we have a 0 here that we can drop down. How many times does 16 go into 140 without going over? Well, 16 times 10 would be 160. So I'm going to say, based on the answer choices, 16 is going to go into 148 times. I'm going to do that off to the side to confirm it. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48, carry a 4. 1 times 8 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so this is going to be 8 times 16 times 8 is 128. Let's do this subtraction here. Um, we can't do 0 minus 8. We have to borrow. This becomes 3. This becomes 10. Uh, 10 minus 8 is 2, of course. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And again, we have a 0 here that we can drop down. Uh, we just saw that 16 times 8 was 128. Now we're asking ourselves, how many times does 16 go into 120? Well, you know that's going to be 7 times. And 16 times 7, if you can't do that mentally, do it off to the side. Uh, 7 times 6 is 42, carry a 4. 7 times 1 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is going to be 112. 120 minus 112 is going to be 8. And again, we have a 0 that we can drop down. How many times does 16 go into 80 without going over? Based on our answer choices, I know it's going to be five times. Uh, again, if you need to confirm that off to the side, you can. Six times five is 30, carry a three. One times five is five plus three is eight. So we can see that 16 times five is exactly 80 with no remainder. So three over 16 is the same thing as 0.1875. Of course, this is the same thing as 18.75%. So the correct answer to this one is going to be C, of course.